Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the report of the week. Thank you for checking in. Well, if you checked out the last video that I did, you saw that I tried to obtain a new release from Taco Bell. That failed miserably. And now I'm back at it again with more Taco Bell. Uh, because Taco Bell is one of those establishments that just pumps out new items continually. And a lot of people will sort of poke fun at them for saying, you know, Taco Bell just takes the same three ingredients and just rearranges them endlessly and calls it a new item. And uh, perhaps there may be some truth to that. But this, on the other hand, I would say is maybe a special circumstance. This is a new item, a new release, that actually is new. That there actually is something new to it. So, this review is going to be somewhat, a little bit of everything. Mostly, I'm going to be trying out this new hot sauce that Taco Bell released. But I'm also going to talk about a meal deal that comes along with it. I'm not really going to review the food that was in the meal, because I've already reviewed everything here probably more than once, uh, but I am going to say at least if it tastes good or not, and uh, how this sauce pairs. So what am I getting at, exactly? Recently, Taco Bell has, for a limited time, premiered what they are calling Disha Hot Sauce. Now, this is a collaboration with Omar Apollo. I'm sort of laughing because... Alright, you can hate me for this, but I have no idea who that even is. Um, I believe, anyway, he is a famous uh, musical artist. I might be completely wrong there, um, but I am just woefully out of touch with pop culture, so when I see these um, celebrity collaborations, sometimes I could... It's hard for me to keep a straight face when uh, I'm just so out of touch with all of this stuff. But um, I believe, anyway, that he is, I'm pretty sure, a famous artist. And again, I might be wrong, so don't, don't quote me on that. But anyway, the story is actually a little bit wholesome, even if I have no idea who he is. Um, apparently, I guess uh, Omar Apollo, in his family, I think he said that his mother has a homemade hot sauce and... You know, now they're teaming up with Taco Bell to uh, premiere this hot sauce to the world for a limited time. And uh, that's how the Disha hot sauce came to be. So I guess it's something that just, just sort of runs in the family, like a family recipe. And uh, then teamed up with Taco Bell, and now you yourself can get it for a limited time. That's the story, anyway. And, uh, anyway... I'm going to both review the hot sauce. You can get it 20 cents per packet, which um, is what it is. It's just the price. However, along with the release of the Disha hot sauce, they also are premiering a meal deal called the Disha Hot Discovery Box. And what that's supposed to be, you could consider it a celebrity meal, um, but it's supposed to be like a little sampler, so to speak, so you can... I guess, discover the potential of the Disha hot sauce and uh, that way try it on a variety of items. So what comes in the Disha hot discovery box? In it, you get three Disha hot sauce packets, which I evidently have here. It also comes with a cheesy gordita crunch. It comes with a Doritos Locos taco. It comes with a crunchy hard shell taco. It comes with chips and nacho cheese sauce for dipping. And then it also comes with a medium drink. And the price for the Disha Hot Discovery Box is $9. So for the price of $9, you get three of these hot sauce packets. You get the uh, chips and nacho cheese dip. You get a drink. Of course, I went with Baja Blast, just like I did the last time, and uh, then you get a hard shell taco, a Doritos Locos taco, and a cheesy gordita crunch. 
So, uh, you know, with fast food prices these days being what they are, $9 for what I would consider to be a good amount of food isn't all that bad. Uh, however, Taco Bell is notoriously affordable, so some may posit, perhaps correctly, that uh, maybe years ago uh, this variety of food might have been available for a price even lower than that. But um, these days, $9 for all this food certainly could be worse. And anyway, uh, what I'm going to be doing essentially is the main point of the review in this case, I'm just going to try out the hot sauce. I'm going to see if it's any good, what it tastes like, because you could get the hot sauce without having to get this whole um, meal deal. So if you just want to get, let's say, a soft taco, and you want to try out this hot sauce instead of, let's say, the fire sauce, you could easily do that. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there that just want to know what this tastes like, so that's going to be the objective. And uh, I'm also, though, just going to see how it pairs with each of these items. That's going to be real quick, though. Really, uh, the main focus here is just to see what the hot sauce tastes like and if it's any good or not. All right. You can see the packaging now in focus. Omar Apollo. Yellow in color. Disha Hot hot sauce, and they come with specialized phrases on the front, as you would have with any um, regular sauce. There's actually three different phrases. So what does this one say? This one says, this one says, my mom made this. And uh, indeed, it was actually handcrafted. This particular one was. This one says, Hotter in person. So there you go. And uh, I, I, I appreciate the sense of humor with this one. This one actually did get a genuine laugh out of me. This says, who's Omar Apollo? And um, th that one did get a laugh out of me, admittedly. I got I to gotta give credit. I'm glad they have a little bit of perhaps self-deprecating humor there. So in typical Taco Bell fashion... I ordered, uh, of course, the Disha Hot Discovery box. There was no box. Uh, apparently, they're supposed to have a special box with branding and special packaging and everything, which, you know, of course, for the review, it would have made for a good thumbnail, but whatever, it doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, they just threw it all in a bag, so, you know, your mileage may vary. Anyway, you can see everything there. The uh, tacos, the Gordita Crunch, the chips. The nacho cheese. A little bit of everything. So, thinking about how I want to approach this. You know, this might look stupid. Honestly, I don't care. If it looks stupid, it looks stupid. So be it. I'm just going to do it the way that I do it. I honestly just want to... I want to see what this hot sauce tastes like by itself. So... I'm going to crack open this one first and foremost, um, because then this could make it easier for everyone. And I'm going to essentially pour some of it on this chip. Hopefully use it as like a little bit of a serving receptacle so you can get visual on the sauce. That's what it looks like, sort of like a Darker reddish in color. Thicker sauce, to an extent anyway. You can see though, there's stuff in the sauce. Looks like little, perhaps spices and peppers in there. And I want to see what it tastes like just by itself, like purely by itself. Um, matter of fact, let's look at the ingredients. Um, water, concentrated, crushed. Just seeing if there's anything. So it does have some chilies in there, and it also has some red habanero peppers and some jalapeno pepper as well. So, okay, that's probably what I'm seeing a little bit of. So this ought to be spicy then. And um, like I said, I really couldn't, ca I couldn't care less how stupid this looks. I'm just going to sort of just try this straight up just to see what, the what it tastes like by itself. So I'm going to do that right now. 
and I'm just going to rush through this and see how it pairs with everything, but let's find out. I'm sort of like, like licking it like how a cat would sort of um, consume some food. It is spicy. You know, there's definitely potent spice to it, for sure. Um, the, the spice is immediate. The spice that I notice in this, it is hotter than the fire sauce. Uh, I will say that. The spice is immediate. Upon contact with the tongue, you will notice it. I'm not so much noticing a spicy aftertaste, um, but we will see again when I put it more generously on some of the food here. Um, how that that ends up being but so far no spicy aftertaste uh, really the spice seems to just be lingering uh, upon contact at the front of my mouth as soon as it comes in contact with my tongue not the spiciest sauce in the world but as far as taco bell is concerned uh, i would say that it is a step above the fire sauce uh, interestingly here this has a, a tangy element to it i would say um, definitely a sharp, tangy note, in addition to the spice uh, element, which I find to be quite interesting, a characteristic. Um, but so far, I would say straight up, the uh, sauce is pleasant. And again, I think what you might be surprised by is that it's not just a hot sauce, generically speaking, but it's actually pretty flavorful. And uh, you're going to be maybe surprised a little bit by... Not only the, the nature of the spice, how again it hits you right upon contact, but again there's just this bold, uh, tangy flavor to it as well, uh, which is interesting, but I could sort of see where they're maybe going with that, and how it likely could um, perhaps complement some of the items here. So, now just real quick, and I'm probably going to just, you know, edit out the eating segments for the sake of time. I've got the cheesy gordita crunch right here, upon which I'm going to now apply some of the disha sauce to. Let's find out how that is. quality of the uh, cheesy gordita crunch here is fine and that's going to be essentially the extent of the review there although if you're curious it comes with uh, just a standard seasoned beef lettuce cheese and um, some spicy ranch I like how the disha hot sauce pairs with the seasoned beef I had a feeling just purely by tasting it by itself that it would complement it nicely and indeed it does. Um, definitely the, the characteristic that I find that amplifies the most is the flavor of the seasoned beef. Uh, it provides enjoyable, flavorful spice that, again, I think also that tangy element to it uh, complements just the overall flavor of everything here and uh, definitely works in its benefit. Uh, so in short, if you were wondering, well, does the Disha hot sauce taste good? with a cheesy gordita crunch. It does. And the quality of the cheesy gordita crunch, I am pleased to say, is not disgustingly bad either. So who knows, maybe this local Taco Bell finally got their act together and uh, is turning things around. Next up, if I can get this out, the Doritos Locos Taco. That's a favorite of many a Taco Bell consumer. So now I'm going to try it out there. Get it on. Let's see how it is. Be right back in a moment. 
And so far, so good with the Doritos Locos Taco. Again, the big appeal with the Doritos Locos Taco is that it's pretty much a standard taco in that it has the seasoned beef, lettuce, and uh, some cheese, but the shell is like a cheesy Doritos um, chip. And I have to say, so far, and I've yet to try out the crunchy taco, of course, but so far, I feel like the dish of hot sauce, again, as expected, it complements the seasoned beef nicely, um, but it really works with the shell of the Doritos Locos taco. Uh, something about the sauce just complements it quite nicely. Not bad. Yeah, so far, I would say of the two, um, again, the spice, it's a flavorful spice, it works, but of the two, uh, I would say I actually prefer it most so far with uh, the Doritos Locos Taco. Um, not that, again, it's bad with the, the Cheesy Gordita Crunch, but I think it's best with the Doritos Locos Taco. This is my opinion so far. And uh, now, finally, last, but maybe not least, we'll find out, a Hard Shell Taco. So I'm going to crack this open and uh, apply it, and we'll see how it is. Uh, I will say, so far, you know, because I've been putting it on, applying it, that is, generously, and so far, not, um, still not much of an aftertaste. The spice really seems to just be on contact, and that's about it. Um, you know, so it doesn't really necessarily seem to build up. Uh, you would think, you know, because some spices really do build upon themselves, but again, I've been going through a good amount of this hot sauce and uh, no aftertaste so far, so. All right, let's see how the, uh, how it works with the hard shell taco. Now it's going in. It's not bad, but maybe not to really anyone's surprise. It's very basic. Um, again, still a flavorful spice, like I said, now for the third time in a row. Complements all the ingredients nicely. Um, but again, compared to the other two, the, the addition of the sauce here just doesn't really hit me the same way. Um, it doesn't really... It doesn't really leave me all that impressed. It's fine for what it is, but it's very basic. I would say, based on now having tried all three items in the uh, Discovery Box, uh, I would say that the one that led to the most enlightenment uh, of the true powers of the Disha Hot Sauce is definitely the Doritos Locos Taco. Again, something about how it works with the shell. Um, if there's an item that you're thinking on maybe pairing this sauce with, I'd probably recommend that. Uh, following the Doritos Locos Taco, though, I would then say probably go with the Gordita Crunch, and um, it seems to work best with these items that maybe have a, maybe more ingredients, more qualities to it, um, whereas the more basic items, just like your regular hard shell taco, it's alright with it, but like I said, nothing overly remarkable either. Uh, of course, chips are fine, Baja Blast is refreshing, as always. So my final assessment, I'm going to give two scores here. Number one, I'm going to rate my thoughts on the Disha hot sauce, and then I'm going to rate the Disha hot discovery box, both as far as quality is concerned, as well as affordability, and as a concept. The Disha hot sauce is good. Probably not going to be for everyone, because again, that, that sort of tangy quality to it, like I said, I know some, some people are really going to love it. Some people, it's just not going to be their thing. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, it does have a noticeable spice. You know, again, hotter than the fire sauce. No aftertaste, though, just immediately upon contact. Um, but it's inventive. It's pleasant. And uh, I got to give credit where credit is due. There is some good flavorful spice to it. So the Disha hot sauce itself, I would give an 8.5 out of 10. As far as the Disha Hot Discovery Box is concerned, um, just three basic items paired together, pretty standard meal deal. You get the uh, hot sauce packets, three of them. You get the 
drink and the chips and the cheese. I wonder if it would be sacrilegious, like with the chi Are you supposed to put the, the hot sauce on the chips or just use the cheese? Or are you supposed to put the disha hot sauce in the cheese and then put that on the chips? I, I'm thinking way too much into this. Just forget that even happened. <laughs> um, it's a pretty standard meal deal, though. You know, you can't really say too much about it. But uh, affordable enough for what it is. Like I said, whether you care about the sauce or not, at least you're getting a meal out of it. You're getting the gordita. You're getting the Doritos Locos taco. You're getting some chips and some cheese and the sauce and a drink and the hard shell taco. A little bit of everything in a meal for less than $10. Can't really complain there, and uh, therefore, out of ten. Me, personally, I would have appreciated if it actually came in the box that it's supposed to come in, but look, it's just a cardboard box. What do I really care in the end about it? So, the Dish of Hot Discovery box, not bad for a meal deal. Probably could still be a little cheaper, considering that it's Taco Bell, but um, fine for what it is. I'm going to give that a seven out of ten. And with that, that's all that I have for you. I hope this review proved to be uh, helpful and useful and informative for anyone wondering about the Disha hot sauce. And uh, this is the latest, again, collaboration with Omar Apollo. And that's all that I have for you. Get it while the getting's good if it looks good to you. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.